Hi guys, this is day 28. Can't believe it's nearly the end of our journey. Hope you're doing well and getting on uh, well with all the different practices we've been trying. So today's practice, it's all about sun salutations. So there's three different sun salutations we're going to go through and you've already met some of them. We're gonna have a, a bit more of a dynamic flowing practice. I hope you enjoy it. So let's start in a full point kneeling position. Come onto your hands and knees. Checking that your hands are underneath your shoulders, your fingers spread. The crease of your elbow pointing forward. Relax your feet and the knees are underneath your hips. Allow yourself to find a nice little release of your shoulders and just find a, a gentle way of breathing. Now you're going to incorporate your breath with your movements. So as you inhale next time, soften the belly to the floor and lift your eyes. On the exhale, round your back and coming to that uh, C shape in the spine. You've been practicing your cat and cats a few times. Allow the belly soften as you relax the belly, daisy belly towards the floor on the inhale. And then exhale, find a C shape in the body, tucking the tail under. On the inhale, the hands pressing gently into the ground and you pull the shoulders back. On the exhale, round the shoulders and feel that lovely space in the back of your neck as you tuck your chin. So it's a continuous movement forward and back. Find your own pace now. You, every one of us got different um, lengths of inhales and exhales. So this is affirmation as we um, find in our breath in a bit more dynamic way is I honor my commitments. I honor my commitments to myself. So we really want to make sure that when we make a commitment, we really take it seriously. I honor my commitments to myself. This is your last one. Take your time to come back to center. Let your eyes look towards the front and just lean towards the left as you step your right leg forward with the hands either side of your right foot. Let yourself sink into the stretch, feeling the stretch in the left hip. Take a breath in, breathe out to gently pull your right leg straight and lift your toes. Moving between these two shapes, inhale, lean forward, exhale, lift the heel, feel the stretch in the back of the leg and just one more time, inhale, lift forward. Exhale and feel the stretch. As you come forward next time, anchor the front knee above the ankle. Allow your arms to lift and maybe open up so you can feel a nice extension in your back. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, relax your hands to the inside of your leg and just draw the leg back. Take a uh, left leg forward. Bring in the left foot uh, in line with your hip and then finding the stretch as you lean forward, allow yourself to pull the heart forward the tail tucked under and relax your right leg. So with your breath, we inhale to stay, uh, pull down towards the gra ground by gravity and exhale to pull the left leg straight and stretch back with the toes. Inhale, heart forward, chest up. Exhale, curling round the back, pull the hip away. And one more time, leaning forward, anchoring the foot and exhaling to lift in and stretching through the back of the leg. Coming back to the front, all right, the arms to rise. You might stay here, you might open up the heart as you pull the arms wide, palms facing up. Inhale, reach, eyes back to center. Exhale, bring the hands to the ground, tuck your back toes, lift the back knee, and take a step forward. So you're bringing your feet about if it's apart, relax your head down into your forward foot. Let your shoulders relax completely. As you inhale next time, bring the hands up towards the top of your shin, find your flat back extension, and exhale to release completely down into the ground. In your next inhale, there's a little softening of the legs, reach your arms up, bring the palms together, eyes to the palms, and draw the hands to your heart center. So let your arms open up, palms facing to the front, and if you feel comfortable with the feet, if it's about stay there, you may bring your heels towards each other, the big toes together, and then finding your root down towards the ground. So let's find our classical story in the mascara. Inhale to reach, circle the arms up, palms together. Exhale to fold forward, hands to floor, eyes to knees. 
Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, hands to floor. Bend your knees and step your right leg behind you. Relax your right knee into the ground and pull your shoulders forward. On your inhale, reach your arms up. Eyes up. Exhale, hands to floor. And step your leg back. You can tuck your toes and back into your plank. Knees down, lower your upper body towards the ground. Find your cobra as you pull your elbows to your ribs. Eyes in front of your mat as you peel the chest off the ground. Down to the ground with the out breath, tuck your toes. Use your push up to lift and down with facing dirt. So the first one of the day, stay here for a full inhale and a full exhale. Feel free to move, maybe sway the hips if you want to. Bend your knees as you look to the front of your mat next time. Take an inhale and then step your right leg free. Find your uh, back knee towards the ground. Pull the heart forward. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, relax the hands. Find the ground, tuck back toes, back knee lift. Step your feet together. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften. Inhale, roll through the spine as you rise up to standing. Exhale, hands to your heart. Let's get flowing one more time. Inhale to lift. Exhale and release. As you relax back and down, soften your eye gaze. Hands to your shin, lift up. This time as you bend your knees, step your left leg. Take a long step, then gently relax your knee, relax the foot. Stay low as you inhale, reach your arms, extend the spine. Exhale, hands to floor. Get ready to plant the palms, step back into plank. Knees down. Lower your body down, that's an exhale. Inhale, draw the shoulders back, shoulder wrists two with each other. Maybe rise up a little higher towards high cobra. Then tuck toes, drive hips and knees off the ground into your V shape, inverted position. Full inhale, feel really grounded. Exhale, bend knees and step your left leg through. Always put the belly in when you step. Bring the back knee to the ground, rise with the arms. And relax your hands. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knees. Step your feet together. Breathe in to lift up halfway. Notice how your back feeling now, how your spine feeling. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands down. Let's keep rolling. So in MSKR A. On your next inhale, arms up. Exhale, release. Inhale, hands to shin. Exhale, bend knees, now step back, right left leg into plank. You can stay on the knees, lower down halfway. You might come all the way down and completely the cobra, lift the heart. Exhale, release, you know what to do, tuck your toes, drive upper body, then hips up towards the ceiling. Bend your knees, look to the front, step forward into a plank position, into a forward foot position. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release. Inhale, bend knees, rise. Exhale, hands to your heart. Same on the other side. Breathe as you rise. Soften and release. A bit more continuous. Instead of the hands to shin, you can keep your hands down. Maybe lift the eye gaze there. And then plant the palms, step back into plank. Lower your body down. If you are on your toes, bring the shoulders a little further forward into Chaturanga. And then let yourself find the upward facing dog. So this is your choice. If you want to stay with the cobra, lower the body down to the floor. Bend the knees, look to the front, step right, left and right foot together, relax your head. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, release down. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to your heart. On your next uh, one, you're going to work with the breath. One breath, inhale. Exhale, release. So breath is very important. You hear me counting all the way through. Inhale, halfway, maybe here, maybe here. Exhale, bend the knees. Now step or hop back into plank. You can lower the knees or body weight forward, chaturanga. Cobra or upward facing dog, lift the heart. Push back into downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look to the front, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, release. Inhale, extended mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart. One more round as you inhale, rise. Exhale, and soften, dive forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, step back, plank, hop, or step. Lower down. 
Cobra or up dog, put your heart forward. Press back down with facing the find your grounded position. Look to the front and once again, hop or step. Bring your hands uh, to the shin if you need, lift up halfway. Exhale, release. Roll up to standing and relax your hands to your heart. Allow your heart rate to come down. We bring in our last round of sun salutations, which is your sun salutations B, Serena Miskabi. So feet can be together or slightly apart. Take an inhale, let your knees bend and switch up into your chair pose. Look down, checking you all got all your ten toes, squeeze through the knees. Now bring the hands towards the floor and let your hips push high. Bend your knees, step or hop back into your plank position and drive your hips up high towards the ceiling. Inhale to roll forward into your plank. Rock, exhale to lower down, knees or toes. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to reach your right leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, draw the right knee in, step the right leg through. Turn your left foot at 45 degree, lift up into your warrior one. Relax your hands down, come back into plank as you exhale. Lower down towards the floor. Inhale, lift the heart forward. Exhale, push back, hips high. Inhale, left leg rise. Exhale, knee to chest, step through. Toes out, right leg, lift the arms, warrior one. Exhale, back to your plank. All one exhale as you lower down. Breathe in, flip your toes. Feel the stretch through the front body. Exhale, drive your hips high. And then find your um, eyes towards the ceiling as you bend your knees. Step or hop to the front of your mat. Relax your head down. Allow your hands to find your shin. Exhale, release back into the floor. Bend your knees as you reach your arms out into a chair. Find your extension as you bring your hands together and the hands back to your heart. Relax your shoulders away and feel that heart pumping in your chest. Feel that energy that's moving around in your body. Feel your hands relax as you inhale, reach up, exhale and float back and down into the floor. Bend your knees and step your right leg back, followed by the left, bring the knees into the ground. Relax your hips back as you stretch through the arms. Allow yourself to take a meditative three to five breaths in here. You might find that you need to rest your arms on the side or maybe underneath your forehead. So today we've been moving a little bit more actively and that's quite a, a great way to warm up your body and to really mobilize your joints. Some days we pull back, some days we move a little bit more, dy more dynamically. But wherever you are, remember that with honoring your commitment and sticking to what you got in mind is always um, going to make a power effect on your day and on your life. Take one more inhale here. Use your next exhale to gently lift. Coming back into a seated position. Remember, any other kneeling position is totally fine. And as always, as you find that center, that calming point, relax into your spine, your shoulders, your hands might be in your lap, maybe in front of your heart center. And just take a um, few more breaths to see. Thanks to yourself, thanks to yourself for getting down in your mat, for bringing the energy even though you might not have felt it to start with. My sincere hope is that you're feeling better than before your session. On your next inhale, gently open your eyes. And on your exhale, take a bath. Namaste. Thank you for your presence. Hope you're feeling better. Have an awesome day. See you tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed that video. For more Pilates and Yoga videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button and check out all the other content on the channel. 
I'll see you in a month.